Attention au décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top décollage. Paramètres au bord sont normaux. Bon fonctionnement des moteurs du premier et deuxième étage. Stabilisation du lanceur sur les trois axes. Well, fine shots. Always impressive, no matter how many times you see Soyuz powering into the sky. 309 tons at liftoff. That's less than half the mass of Ariane 5. The boosters are the first stage. The boosters on the central core or second stage are burning now. Les paramètres bord sont conformes à l'attendu. As the DDO says, all is well on board. The boosters weigh 45 tons each at liftoff. Total mass of the first stage, 178 tons. The engines running on liquid hydrogen, sorry, liquid oxygen and kerosene. The same propellants used in each of the three lower stages. The parameters propulsive sont conformes à l'attendu. The second or the core stage, similar to the boosters, its ignition occurred on the launch pad. As you saw, the stage will burn for four minutes. Remember, Soyuz weighed 309 tons at liftoff after separation of her boosters, which you may be able to see by the na uh, with the naked eye, but there's a the onboard camera showing what it looks like. Separation des quatre propulseurs. At separation of her boosters, she's down to 135 tons. So in less than two minutes, she loses more than half her weight. On the bottom of your screen, on the left, our altitude, on the right, our speed. These figures coming in Les from the downrange stations. Galio in yellow on the screen, on the left, just disappearing. That's the local station here in Kourou. The uh, data are received by the Russian teams in the launch center, then confirmed before being broadcast. Next up is jettison, jettison of the fairing. That's in about 20 seconds. Fairing measures of 4 meters in diameter, stands about 11 meters tall. We can get rid of it now in 17 seconds because we no longer need the protection it gives the satellites during their ride through the Earth's atmosphere. At 100 kilometers up, we are out of the dense layers of the atmosphere. There's no more friction, no more heating, which can disturb... Uh, anything to disturb the satellites. And there you see the fairing jettison. There's another half, which is out of camera range on the port side of the vehicle. This powered phase of Soyuz's first three stages will last about nine minutes. Then the upper composite called the frigate, that's the upper stage, with the satellites will be separated. It takes over and does the rest of the work, completing the mission. Europe space Effort is a three-way affair, Ariane Space marketing and operating the launch services and the Ariane program, the European Space Agency funding, if possible, flying both north and east, north for sun-synchronous orbits like tonight, east for geostationary orbits. Coming up on separation of the second stage, there you see what it looks like on the animation and what it looks like on the onboard camera. 186 kilometers up, and we will have uh, ignition of Allumage block the e. third stage. The DDU has just called that Préparation out. What an unusual aspect of the Soyuz, whereas with Ariane, for example, we separate the lower stage into its initial Earth orbit. Our next film, and the first on our passengers, coming up on Cosmos for a visit later in the broadcast. 
The Soyuz we're using today, it's the most recent version, the Soyuz 2. Originally, you might recall, Soyuz was a missile called the R-7, the world's first intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, developed in 1953 by Sergei Korolev, who was the father of the Soviet space program. The Soviet R series was modeled on the German V-2. On October 4th, 1957, R-7 put in orbit Sputnik, you will recall. There's the separation of the third stage. See what that looks like. And with that, we have come to the end of the first part of the powered flight phase. We're now awaiting confirmation of the first frigate burn, Saint-Hubert at the top of because we're launching five satellites, and although all are headed toward a sun-synchronous orbit, each has to go into its own orbit, of course, and its own altitude. And an interesting mix of satellites for this mission, multiple mission tonight, Cosmos SkyMed, Earth Observation, the scientific mission KEOPS for the European Space Agency, and then in the final part of the broadcast, three CubeSats, small ones, Ops, Sat, ISAT, and ANGELS, We'll be describing each in turn. Normally on board at 19 minutes into the mission, 16 minutes to go in this first part. A note on the launch pad from where we lifted off, 28 kilometers ago, there are two Soyuz pads at Baikonur, four at Plasetsk. A new pad, the world's eighth was built in Russia at Vostochny with a gantry, and the gantry is only used here at the CSG and at the new site at Vostochny. We're coming up in about 30 seconds on extinction of the first frigate burn, and you'll hear the DDO call out the milestone. Some other Soyuz facts, I'm sure you might recall, besides orbiting the first artificial satellite Sputnik over 60 years ago, 1957, of course, the first man in space, Yuri Gagarin, 1961, lifted by a Soyuz. The first woman in space, the first spacewalk. Soyuz also holds the world's highest demonstrated reliability record, close to 99%. That's pretty remarkable. You see the first day. CSG-1 built by Thalassolenia Space, the 161st satellite launched by Ariane Space, manufactured by the group. And there you have the scheduled separation. We're waiting for the DDO confirmation. Again, we mentioned the slight fin de manoeuvre d'orientation. Before we get confirmation, always a moment of high concentration. KEOPS is the first of three missions that ESA will have to explore exoplanets. The next is PLATO, which is foreseen to launch in 2026, mm -hmm. and will find and characterize terrestrial-like uh, exoplanets. That's a discovery mission. It's a discovery Not and a characterization oh, okay. uh, uh, mission. And what it'll look for in particular is planets that are, have a surface temperature, with, which is that sufficient to find water that's in a liquid form at, its, at the surfaces. 